They got married here in uh, State Center. May 26, 1939. In this house, on the day she graduated from high school, Norma Stock said yes to Gordon Yeager. They're very old-fashioned. Uh, they, they believed in marriage, so death do you part. Dennis Yeager was the last of four children born to Gordon and Norma. His sister Donna was first born. Staying together for 72 years, I'd say is good. And nowadays, that's exceptional. The way the kids tell it, dad was the life of the party. Mom kept everything together. Anybody come over, she was the one, the hostess, with the mostess. She just, seriously, the more she did, the, the more she smiled. Dad would be the center of attention going, he, look at me, and Mom's like, get him away from me, you know? We even got a picture like that. Norma didn't really want the distance. She hardly left his side for 72 years. They just, just love being together. You know, even like everybody argues once in a while, but they still... You know, he always said, I have to stick around until, um, you know, I, I can't go until she does because i got to stay here for her. And she would say the same thing. It's almost as if they knew. Last Wednesday, they uh, left home to uh, go into town. Somehow there was an accident there. At the intersection of Highway 30 and Jessup Avenue, just west of Marshalltown, state troopers say Gordon pulled in front of an oncoming car. I rushed from Des Moines, where I was working, and uh, saw him in the hospital. In the intensive care unit of Marshalltown's hospital, nurses knew not to separate Gordon and Norma. So they brought him in the same room in intensive care and put them together, and then they were holding hands in intensive care, and then, you know, with the morphine and everything, and then they were not really responsive. Gordon died at 338, holding hands with his wife. The family they built surrounded them. And it was really strange. They were holding hands, and Dad stopped breathing. I couldn't figure out what was going on because the heart monitor is still going. And we're like, but he isn't breathing. Why? How would he still have a heartbeat? And she checked and everything, and she said, well, that's because they're holding hands, and it's going through them. And her heart was beating through him and picking it up. They were still getting her heartbeat through him. At 4.48, exactly one hour after Gordon, Norma passed too. Neither one of them would have wanted to be without each other. I, I couldn't figure out how it was going to work. We were very blessed, honestly, that they went this way. They just, just loved being together.